15 seconds to go. We don't know if they're the final 15 seconds in the Patriots' career of Tom Brady, but as he stands in the end zone out of the gun, this crowd letting him know how they feel. Tom Brady from his own one. Fires, pass, batted up in the air, intercepted, and returned for a touchdown, Titans! A pick six. Boy, is that fitting. To end it. The Tennessee Titans have come into what Mike Vrabel referred to as the Viper's Den, and they have knocked out the champions. <laughs> A lot of reasons for Tom Brady to look disappointed after that, but for fans as well, it was a sad day because that was Tom Brady's last pass as a New England Patriot, and it was caught by my man, our guy right here, Logan Ryan. Logan, now we want to know the story from your side of things because you were teammates with Tom Brady for five years of your career, but that night, opposite side, pick him off on the one-yard line as a deflected ball, just walk us through the whole thing. This game was a game where you guys were all in the hype of the Lions, you guys were hyenas and all that other nonsense that you guys had going <laughs> nah, on. Nah, he's calling it Patriots. nonsense, just yes. straight up. Can I get an ooey? Can I get one of your ooey? <laughs> oh! That play deserves Can I get one. Get an ooey? Uh, the ooey. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I got I got Jason to Cabo early that year. Um, <laughs> look, you got you got to look at the back the background of this. You got to set it up, right? Mm -hmm. So I was a New England Patriot, as we know, and I think we talked about it enough today. It's hard to play there. Mm -hmm. You have to be fully bought in. Not everybody can play there. You got to be. You're not going to get treated special. You got to earn what you get. So I wanted to prove that I can play for the New England Patriots, but I think. More importantly, I wanted to prove when I decided to take a contract in Tennessee that I can prove outside of the New England yeah. Patriots. Because a lot of people try to say, you're just a system sure. player who only has success. And we Good see a lot point. of players who only have success there. They go elsewhere, they don't make it, they come yeah. on back. So I wanted to make sure, like, no, I, I'm, I'm a guy that can play, and I can play outside of New England. So I think I established that in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We had lost to New England two years prior in the playoffs in Tennessee. They, they beat us in a divisional. We weren't ready. And that year, we, we rolled the whole underdog thing. We got into the playoffs as a sixth seed. Um, we played New England in Foxborough. Brady has, I, I think, four losses ever at home mm -hmm. in Foxborough in, you know, 18 years or whatever it is. So he had tremendous playoff success, ridiculous playoff success. So I'm covering Edelman all game. Edelman is like a great friend and hated rival of mine because how competitive he is. I covered him up four years in practice. I covered him a couple times when we played him in Tennessee. So trying to just have the energy to, to guard the Brady-Edelman matchup was really, really intense. But I knew him like the back of my hand just comes of the, you know... The battle. The rapport, yeah, yeah, and the battle. So I knew Brady well, I knew Edelman well. And you set it up. We have Mike Vrabel as our head coach, former mm -hmm. Patriot, um, friend of Brady's, <laughs> right? So we're, you know, they're close friends. He's our coach. Dean Pease is our defensive coordinator, mm -hmm. which people don't understand. He was also the D coordinator during the first Patriots dynasty. So we know the Patriots so well. There's so much between these two franchises. And we come in there on a wild card night, and it's a close game, and, and we're up, but Brady has one last possession. So you're like, oh, we got to do it again. And when you play Brady, it's like he's never dead. He's never dead. You're up 14, doesn't matter. He's never dead. He's going to go no huddle. You're up 21, he's never dead. You're up 28 to 3, he's never yeah. dead. <laughs> so I've been on that side of it. So I go, uh, we're in this defense. I'm in the middle of it. It's kind of our victory defense. Ball gets tipped up. I, I pick the ball off. I'm going to score. You literally see, uh, you, you literally see after I, I score here, Mike Vrabel, they cut him on the sideline like, no, like, no, Logan, no, slide, go yeah. down. Like, the game is over. What are you doing? We're going to give Brady the ball back with one second. Mm -hmm. We could potentially lose the game with one second left. That's how much fear that <laughs> Brady kind of puts mm -hmm. in your heart. But, you know, when I when I made that play there, I think it was vindictive and important for me in my career. Obviously, I think it was an important play for Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, and I kind of felt like I left the empire. I flew back. And, and, and blew up the Death Star. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I think I think it was... I think their dynasty kind of was over on that play. Um, obviously, I think it was a frustrating year for the Patriots mm -hmm. and a frustrating year for Brady and a, and a quick exit. And then he ends up going to Tampa. Yeah. And Tampa wins a, wins a championship, mm -hmm. a Super Bowl the next year. So Tampa fans can thank me mm -hmm. for that one. And then <laughs> I end up... Fire. You ended I, up there. I end up in Tampa where I live now and have my house and, and played with them last year. So I think, Did again... Did you guys talk about that play? Yeah, so we talked about that play. We talked about it in... Um, you and Tom. Yeah, we, he DM'd me after the game. Oh. He said, great play, you know, whatever, and, and we chopped it up. And uh, I just remember him 
when he made his free agency move right before it and when he made it, he's like, I'm going to put the league on notice. And that's when I knew, because I think people were saying, like, he's done. You know, Brady's done, Brady's done. And when he sends you that text, like, I'm going to put the league on notice, I knew, like, oh, yeah, he's not done and he's about to do something next year. Where, where are you going, mm. you know? And he ended up going to Tampa, and Tampa mm -hmm. wins the Super Bowl. So I think that play it doesn't send him to Tampa Bay, but who knows what yeah. happens if they win a Super Bowl that year or they get through that game or whatever. But that changes the fortunes of the Tampa franchise, changes the fortunes of the Patriot franchise, mm -hmm. and obviously changes the fortunes of my career. I end up going to Tampa to play with Tom, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's where I live now. So It's incredible. Yeah. So we, we only got less than a minute left. Do you think that he's done for good now? He's never dead. Mm -hmm. He's never dead. But I do. I, I, I do think that, uh, I, I take him for his word, I do think that he, he's going to spend some time with his kids and, and, and enjoy that time. So I don't know, but I can never count him out. I mean, he's, he's proven us wrong too many times to, to put 100% on it. But I think right now, for sure, this next year, I don't think he's coming back. Mm -hmm. I'm 